and hello 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 again and welcome to another tutorial of hostmaria.com oh i do not need these headphones so welcome to another tutorial of hostmaria.com my name is helmut meshkuanis and today i'll be showing you uh, a quick demonstration video walkthrough on how to install wordpress um, i'm trying to make these videos as friendly as possible as personally myself I hate the videos without comments, without sound, just going, uh, clicking, people are clicking this here, there. I'll be showing what is what and let us jump in. So first things first, this, this video tutorial applies to our cloud users and our cloud hosting is offered to you and to all our users in partnership with 20i Data Center. Okay, let us go in. First things first, you need to log into your stackcp.com dashboard. Once you are in there, let us go and see what is what do we have there. So we have primary domain un-s.com. This is the main the company owns. Um, and then then so let us let us see first things first. Let us check are there any other domain names? No, there is only one domain name. Let us go back. So just the first basic basic checks. Let us see is the SSL active? Okay, SSL is active. Very good. And the last thing, and the last thing, you have to make sure that there are no files, that there are no files in the installation, in your installation folder. Otherwise, the one-click install will not be able to proceed. So first things first, of course, let us return to domains. Uh, if you have one domain only, then uh, the, the, primary, uh, the primary file location will be public HTML. If you have other domains, then you'll probably, you have definitely seen our other tutorials on how to add second and third domain name, and then the document root or the file root will be different. So public HTML. So what do we do go? Uh, what do we have to do? We go to file manager and we just make sure, we just make sure that in public, that public HTML is clean, is clean. Uh, for new users, so I have I have cleaned this folder. I have deleted everything. But if you are a, if you have just registered, if you have just registered, then you will see that there is one index file. Don't worry about it. Leave, leave it there, and they, the one click install will overwrite it. Okay, okay. So, and let us get in. So, domain is there. Folder is clean. SSL is active. We can start working. So we scroll down. We scroll down and here in the very bottom. So over here we have 70 plus, 70 plus one click installs. So you would, you would click here on WordPress. The process is very, very, very simple. Very simple. And I'm recording this video real time, <laughs> real time. So let us see how it works. If you have more than one domain name, you would choose, you would choose. So for example, we have a we have a subdomain and we could put it on the subdomain uh, photos.un-s.com but we are gonna, are gonna put it on on the main domain directory and this is optional 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 do not add anything here the document root is already set up previously so install wordpress and here we go here we go Slowly, 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 slowly. So the system, so the system is setting up. So populating your your hosting account with WordPress installation files. So what the system does now, the system has prepared has prepared the installation files for your domain. So we can see the second address. Ignore it. This is a temporary address. Stackstaging.com. Uh, we have uh, we have covered it. I have covered it in another video. So here it is. Don't worry, just click on it. Just click on the on the top on the top one. You can see. Let us let us go through. Yes. So English, United States. So this site. Uh, let us say manager, manager two. Let me say let me say the thing. So the password, the password is already pre-generated. Just copy save it. Your email, demo at postmaria.com. And so this this thing, search engine visibility, visibility. If you do not want the search engines to index your website, then click it. But 
<laughs> have a sec. You do not have to do that if you are just starting up. Absolutely ignore it. Carry on. Click the install WordPress. And here you go. Now you would go, you would log in. So we are going manager two. Here is the password we have saved. Let's see, here's the same password. Yeah, you would say, remember me still. And here we are. So the next things I would highly, highly su suggest you to do. Settings, HTTPS, as HTTPS is number one thing. Save, and now we'll be kicked out from the system as the site has switched over to HTTPS. We can see that the certificate is valid. So manager two, password. Again, the same password we have saved. I'm not worried on the showing the password. Anyway, I'll, I will delete the system. Login. And here we are. Here we are. And once we click, once we click, we can see that it is active. There is, there are two more things, two more things. Go directly to permalinks, choose post name. This is based on my personal experience. Post name, save. Then on plugins, go to plugins and add new and say force HTTPS. And let us see where is where is the one I like. Where is the one I like? This one. This one is, it is so light, so light by Kai Armstrong. It hasn't been, uh, it, the last update was two years ago, but it works absolutely fine. This light good. Just add this plugin. It will it will make your website load always from HTTPS. That's it. And yes, now you are done. And just go to your themes, appearance, themes, installs theme, switch theme, delete themes up here in the corner. Many people do not know. You can delete your themes. You can delete your themes. And there is one plugin out of all or out of other plugins. Of course, you are worried about the speed. On our cloud, I have Personally, I have tested many, many caching plugins. One of one of the great ones is um, okay, cache. cache enabler, cache enabler, and actually, it does work better than the built-in stack um, stack cache. So this is what I would do personally. I would stack cache. I would disable it. Once again, and from from our here settings, one, two, three, and here. And these are the basic settings and test site. Here you go. And the site layer loads really fast and everything is everything is good. So these are the basic things, and this was a short, short tutorial on how to install WordPress on Stack CP dashboard. You are most welcome. Not more than 10 minutes now. And if you have any questions, if you have any questions, please go to your, to host Maria dashboard and open a support ticket. All the support is done via ticketing services. So we have level one support. Level one support, those are sales. Uh, Sales level level one support is out. So they, they are outsourced and they do not have access to the to the database and to the main to the main sites. So only pre-sale ones. And then level two and level three support is actually provided by um, on uh, by by tickets by tickets. And of course, in the very very worst cases, you just go to the very bottom. There is a telephone number. Emergencies, call up. That is my mobile number. Personal. Here we go. We are trying to provide as good support as it is needed. All the best to you and lightning speed to your WordPress websites or other ones. Take care.